lot of people think that if they use Quicken or Microsoft Money as some kind of a tracking mechanism that is going to help them immensely, and they find that they struggle with learning how to use the software more than anything else. So this is just a quick discussion of why a tool as powerful as Quicken can actually give us a false sense of control. For example, we find that in our experience that you need three elements to understanding your control on spending. First, you'd want to forecast. Some people call it a budget. Second, you would want to track that. And the third thing is you need to compare what you've been doing so that you can make changes and adjust. So let's just take my hand and cover up one thing. Supposing that someone really did forecast or budget in great detail. They track everything in Quicken or some software, but they never look at it. They never compare, they never analyze. How successful would they be? Obviously, they're not going to make it. So now let's move. Let's supposing someone really does a good job at budgeting, forecasting. They don't track it at all in Quicken or any other source. And then they try to make heads and tails out of it at the end of the month. Then they're going to fail as well. Now let's cover up this next, this last one. Supposing they don't forecast at all, but they go ahead and track everything, and then they try to make comparisons and see how they've done. Well, they're going to fail as well. So it isn't just enough to track. That's it gives you, uh, for example, it's supposing you bought a refrigerator and it, it broke and you need to go back on the warranty. You go into a tracking mechanism like Quicken and know that in October 17th you, you purchased the refrigerator and it's under the warranty and so you go and get that refrigerator taken care of properly that way. Then this gives you a false sense of control. You say, wow, look at what I've been able to do with that. But from an emotional standpoint, regarding all of our money, that we come in, all of our taxes paid, our debts paid, etc. We must do all three things in order to be successful and be in control of our spending. We must be able to forecast, track how we're doing against the forecast, and then at the end of the month make a comparison to see where we can make changes. With all three we can be dynamically successful. Using any kind of just one of these will not work.